at some point we get inspired to get a little more organized. And uh, so I came up with this box. This is for um, vinyl application only, not really geared towards the paint world. So just wanted to share this with you. Um, yeah, Lazy Susan on the bottom. A little on the heavy side because it's all half inch plywood. Um, kind of a prototype just to kind of get things started. See how it was gonna work. Been using it for about a year now. So it seems like it's been working really well so far. Um, so let me just kind of take you through it real quick and see what you think. So um, these will make sense as we uh, start opening the box. Start out unlatching everything. This will make sense once you see it. And it opens up wing style like that. And then this guy right here drops down to reveal all your basic tools, knives, scissors. You can see what's there. Can you? Yes, you can. Look at that. Okay. Okay. And anyway, inside the main compartment is water, squirt bottle, rapid remover for removing adhesive, rapid application fluid for applying, and isopropyl alcohol, a little Swiffer, scrapers, scrapers, um, auxiliary blade for the 12 inch, a handful of four inch squeegees and a uh, eight inch for doing direct on direct print. Um, I shoved some little uh, gloves. Uh, these are wrap gloves, which I do not do wrapping, but I have anyway, just in case. A little pencil sharpener happened to fit in there. And then over here, put that guy back. No matter what you do, you never really can make something perfect. I don't really like this business in here. It's kind of, I still have to dig. The whole goal was not to have to dig. Uh, but unfortunately, as I got to this point, I thought, oh man, I forgot about my little Swiffer and that kind of thing. So if you have any better ideas, great. I know, make the box bigger. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, one of the cool little things I discovered was these little magnets, super power magnets in here. Um, you just drill and epoxy them in, and then I have my roller, and that just snaps right on there. I uh, had enough space for a little secret compartment above because it, uh, it goes, it had a little space above the squirt bottles to throw in some more storage because you never can have too much sport storage. And those little guys are little drawers. They open up like so, take, just take out. I put a little tab on here in order to pull them. And then you just slide them out. You got your, all your blades. So I put all my blades on this side and a few little scraper handles. Slide that back in, slide that down. And you can see everything kind of has a directional purpose for travel. If you, if you, don't, if you put them in the wrong way, then you, things can spill. Um, so part of the reason for this being all at the angles they are is when it's folded up like this, you can see they're still going at an, whoa, you can't see. You can see that they're still going at an up angle. So everything has always got to face up uh, in order for transport. Uh, so far, this has been a pretty good angle. Now, what I, I'll show you what I do when I put it on my truck. I go ahead and I put it in my front seat. I'll put a blanket down. This doesn't tear up my seat covers. You know, especially if we've got that lazy Susan on the bottom, which is metal. Make sure it's all locked out. And then stick it in here, leaning it towards that way. See, this is that little compartment where it flips out where all the tools are. Leaning it forward like that guarantees it not to spill out because now those, all those tools are even pointing even further upward. Over on the tape side, I've got rolls of tape and I usually have, we'll have a, so I got banner tape and I usually have uh, some double-sided, high bond, double-sided tape in there too, but I just don't have it right now. And then all my masking tape is up here. Now this is the one place that these these bounce out especially up here on the top when it's up like this and at the point of travel 
these will, the, just the top ones will end up like that coming out. Um, just because turning, making turns or something. And I, so that's why I put these little um, shrink wrap, tape and shrink wrap to try to avoid that. Um, and it, that helped. But if you can think of a better idea, uh, that would be awesome. I just haven't taken the time to kind of um, brainiac it through. I just have an, another little storage unit, same situation. This keeps my Q-tips and touch-up materials in there. Okay. Now, the, the only thing I forgot about was my tool belt, which is something I use on job sites. And, and it doesn't really fit in there. Totally forgot about that while I was making the thing, figures. Uh, it's all auxiliary bag, and then I'll just shove a bunch of rags in there. I can shove a bunch of rags in there, and if I don't want my utility bag, and it'll all fit still nicely. Uh, so I can always do that. The other thing is paper towels. I usually have a separate cleaning compartment for that in my truck. So what I like about this situation uh, is that it's not only for transport, but it actually for shop work too. So I keep it over here. I this up by the corner. You know, I do all my vinyl work here, you know, weeding and everything, whatever needs to be done and pulling transfer tape. And then I have all my tools right here handy. They're not all scattered around. They're not on me. They're just all right, right here, right in a nice spot. I can spin them, get them closer, or I can spin them away and get them farther. Um, I can move this forward and back if I need to. It's just a nice way of just staying organized and compact. If I need the whole table quickly, and not have any um, anything on here, I can just box this thing up and, and transport it off to another, another countertop. So that's kind of a handy thing. And another handy thing that I discovered accidentally, because I wasn't smart enough to think ahead about this, but these little plastic carts that you can get are awesome for like, if you're going into a store, like I do, I do quite a few banks lately. And so I just load all my tools, all my, uh, you know, whatever tools I need for application here, there, and underneath, and you know, these little compartments up here, and things like that. Uh, and lo and behold, this thing, let's see, this thing fits on this end, fits on this end. So I can still utilize it. Still open it. Now, why did I think this thing fit this way? Check this out. I don't feel like it fit this way before. Yeah, so I just shove it right in there. Now I still have all this workspace back here, and I have my my total system on wheels. I can take it from wall to wall, location to location, within in the bank or store, especially for long distances, going from the parking lot, whatnot. So that, that makes it really super convenient. So obviously all this height here was critical to make that happen. You have to make like even, even this um, uh, support system right here had to, had to be above this lip. And that's, that's what those um, pieces are for. They're just, to keep, they're just to keep this from going all the way down. That's all that's for. Same, same with this piece right here. Just keep it from going flopping all the way down. Overall length, 16 inches by 12, by 14, 14 and a half with the Lazy Susan. What else do we need? Um, that's about it. I think the next time I do it, I'm gonna make it out of, if I do another one, this, this was being the prototype, I like to make it out of aluminum. It'll be a lot lighter. Also I'll be able to make a lot more uh, specially kind of custom compartments with aluminum too. Um, so yeah, so it's about, I'm guessing probably about 20, 25 pounds maybe with everything in it. So if you have any changes, additions or alterations or any other ideas, let me know. Thanks so much for watching.